is Jesus God, the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why am I dealing with, with this? Because people are questioning it. It's time for me to say something about it because the Bible clearly states he is God Almighty. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The same the Lord Jesus, the same God. He is God Almighty. He is the one who created the world. He is the one who talked to Abraham. He is the one who led him and blessed him. He is the one who called Moses and brought Israel out of Egypt and divided the Red Sea and led them through the wilderness and given them the promised land. The same God, Jesus, is God Almighty. When you go to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible says, And unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Here, God the Father is calling Jesus God. He says, he says to the Son, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. It's amazing to me that God calls him God, and yet preachers, some of them, are questioning if he's God. I don't get that. Don't they see it in the Bible? Don't they see that the Bible says so clearly? He is God Almighty. And I showed you yesterday, what makes God, God? Number one, omnipotence. For God to be God, He must be Almighty. Number two, omnipresence. For God to be God, He must be everywhere at the same time. Omniscience. For God to be God, He must know all things. And number four, He is eternal. Had no beginning, no end. He is the I Am, eternal. And number five, unchangeable. Let's go back and look at them one more time. Ephesians 1, 20 and 23, he has received power far above all principality, power, might, dominion, every name that is named, not only in this world, but that in that which is to come. We talked about omnipresence also yesterday because it shows that he is all places at all times. It says, Matthew 18, 20, where, where two or three are gathered, there am I. In Matthew 28, 20, I'm with you always. But let's look at omniscience. Jesus, is the all-knowing? Well, let's see it. John 2 and 24 and 25. And Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of men, for he knew what was in men. He knows everything. Or John 16, 30. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and it is not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou camest forth from God. So this is all scripture. We are sure you know all things. And then Colossians 2, 3 says these words, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In Jesus are the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now, let's look at eternal. Look at Isaiah chapter 9. This is a very powerful one. I'm hoping you're writing these scriptures down to prove to people who question this that Jesus is God Almighty. Watch this. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. So here he is in the flesh. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Yay! Mighty God. This baby is Mighty God. Jesus, born in Bethlehem, was Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah, the prophet, called Jesus, mighty God, everlasting Father. You know, for a Jew in those days, and today it's forbidden to say that God is a man, yet Isaiah wrote it in the Bible. Unto us a child is born, born in, in Bethlehem as a baby. Unto us a son is given. 
the government will be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. How can they even question if Jesus is God by just reading Isaiah 9, 5? So Isaiah 9, 6 and Micah 5, 2. It's all there. The Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Wow, it's all there. And now finally, unchangeable. He never changes. Immutability, unchangeable. Let's look at this one too. Hebrews 1.10, And thou, O Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth. He's simply repeating from the Psalms. The heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. They shall wax old as doth a garment. As a vesture shall thou fold them up. They shall be changed, but thou art the same. Thy years shall not fail. Wow. And finally, Colossians 2.9, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So here we see clearly he's the giver of life eternal. Jesus is God. Why? Because he's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's eternal and unchangeable. That's what makes God, God.